you wonder what pressure, if any, Tyson experiences at this stage of his career. He has recently been on the cover of national magazines, notably Sports Illustrated and The Ring Magazine, a feature in People Magazine. At 19 years of age, he has reached a level of eminence previously reserved in recent years only for Olympic gold medalists who came into the sport. He did not win an Olympic gold medal. In fact, he lost in the Olympic trials to Henry Tillman. But of course, professional boxing, an entirely different prospect than amateur boxing, and it has been kind to Mike Tyson. Here we go. He is a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much is this is a 16 foot ring, very much to Tyson's liking. Starting out, going to the body, a couple of those punches appeared low. In the work Carl Williams fight, we saw Jesse Ferguson go into the corner and onto the ropes and then counter with left hooks off the ropes. Referee is Luis Rivera out of New York City. And already Ferguson has lasted longer than have some of Tyson's 12 first round knockout victims. But now, Tyson got an uppercut through the guard. A major league body punch. And one of the things that distinguishes him, even in the amateurs, Mike Tyson can throw great body shots. He takes what you give him, and right now Jesse Ferguson is, Ferguson is just giving him the body. But Ferguson is standing still and allowing Tyson to swing away at the rib cage. We saw a few seconds ago one of the things that makes Tyson so special. He threw a tremendous left hook, missed with it, and didn't go off balance. Always in position to punch. First sign of aggression from Ferguson there, but he went back into the shell. If form holds true, Jesse Ferguson at some point in that strategy of laying on the ropes will come out firing with the left hook. And if he does, and if he connects with Tyson's chin, we may have one of the questions that surrounds Mike Tyson's career answered. Tyson is pacing himself more at this point, Jim. Generally, he would rip punches with both hands without caring about what the opponent did in return. He has some respect for Jesse Ferguson's power. He is not letting his hands go with the uh, speed and uh, consistency that he do did in his first 17 fights. Bit of confidence. Fifteen seconds to go in the round. Ferguson about to become the sixth of Mike Tyson's 18 opponents to make it through round one. We'll be back. out of his corner in the red trunks. The black trunks belong to 19-year-old Mike Tyson. Tyson's average bout to this point in his career lasted two minutes, 58 seconds. Ferguson has gone farther than the average Tyson opponent. As I mentioned, only the six of 18 men to face Tyson in his professional career to make it as far as round two. We apologize for the quality of our audio at this moment. We are on our backup audio line. We'll stay with you. Now we're told that it's done. Tyson getting through the guard again. And in that one brief combination, you saw the speed of Mike Tyson, the thing that makes him special. Not just power, but he really gets the punch there quickly. Let it go. 
Thus you, far, Tyson has been content to concentrate mostly on the body. He hurt Ferguson a little bit with one of those body shots, Jim. Right now, Ferguson's just fighting a survival fight, trying to pull Tyson in close where he can't do it, you know, smother his punches. Tyson, on the other hand, is not being as busy as he normally would be. Ferguson said that he absolutely not would not try to wait Tyson out and drag him into later rounds where he hasn't been before. But it might not be an inadvisable strategy. Tyson only once has been as far as round five. That was in his most recent bout against Mike Jamison. TKO early in the fifth. And in that fight with Jamison, which did last in the fifth round, it seemed that Mike got a little bit discouraged. He was in with an opponent that just grabbed him and looked to survive, and he really didn't uh, keep his concentration. It'd be interesting to see fighting the same kind of opponent here in Ferguson, who's not giving him very many punching opportunities, if he continues to stay on top and keep his concentration and keep in the fight. together through much of this action. And Jesse Ferguson, fighting defensively, appears to have made it as far as the end of round two against Mike Tyson. Round three. And Jesse Ferguson is only the fourth fighter to make it that far with Mike Tyson. Good right. We saw Ferguson recoil to the ropes, but that time Tyson did not attempt to follow up. Two of the questions that boxing people have raised about Mike Tyson that have yet to be answered are his chin and his stamina. Right now, he's in, been in three tough rounds. Not tough in the sense he's taking a lot of punishment, but he's throwing a lot. And I think the pressure of the event has got to drain something out of him. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty in pretty good shape at this point. You would find almost no one in the arena who believed before this began that it would go to a decision. But if it were to go that far, certainly Tyson has won the first two rounds and is controlling the third. You see quickness in Mike Tyson that really you've never seen with a fighter of his build in the heavyweight division. Of course, Muhammad Ali was quicker. Of course, perhaps Floyd Patterson was quicker, although Customato, who trained and managed them both, said that he believes Tyson may be quick, as quick as Patterson. But never a man with that build, with that much power, throwing punches that fast. He has not sustained it in this fight, but in in flashes, you have seen what has impressed so many people in his pro career to date. You mentioned, of course, the relationship to Patterson, both fighters groomed by the now late Customato. Their physical attributes are so dissimilar that there is really no direct comparison to style between the two fighters. Three solid right uppercuts by Ferguson, and it, Tyson did not appear phased by it. You might be able to see here that the fighters are fighting with eight ounce Everlast thumbless gloves. The eight ounces in, instead of 10 ounces would favor a puncher like Tyson. As with the size of the ring we mentioned earlier, 16 feet, eight inches, the ring. The thumbless gloves, mandatory in New York State in non-title fights. That flurry right there by Tyson, he did not sit down on his punches. He threw a lot of punches, but they were, for him, pity pat punches. He's got to set himself. Once again, those are arm punches. Coming to the end of round three. Already is becoming an interesting and educational experience for Mike Tyson, though a fight, like all the others he's been in, in which to this point he is totally in control. More of the Mike Tyson-Jesse Ferguson fight still to come 
here on Classic Ringside. Round four, and Jesse Ferguson now joins two fighters, one named Don Halpin, another named Mike Jamison, as the only two men to have made it this far in the professional ranks in the ring with Mike Tyson. In case you have joined us late, the man in the black trunks is the young phenomenon of the heavyweight division, 19-year-old Michael Tyson, originally from Brooklyn, New York, now lives in Catskill, New York. 17 straight knockouts, 12 of them first-round knockouts, coming into this, his toughest test so far. A few moments ago, Jesse Ferguson looked over to referee Louis Rivera for some help. Uh, he just got hit a low blow, as he has been hit a few during this fight. His problem is his trunks are slipping down below his protector. Now, Jesse appears to want to say something to Tyson about the low blow. And the referee warns him not to headbutt Tyson. We want to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will be taking a station break. Crowd beginning to get restless. They would like to see Ferguson fighting a somewhat more offensive effort. Though so far, I have to think he's shown some intelligence, Alex. Well, he's fought to survive and not to win. He just threw one of the very infrequent left hooks that we touted and, and has, in fact, been his trademark throwing his, through his career. He hasn't let the punch go because he's been safety-minded throughout this fight to date. He may be just pacing himself trying to wait until Tyson tires himself out from all of these home run punches he's throwing, and then looking to come on in the late round. Jim Lapley with Alex Wallow. Ringside, ABC Sports Live from Troy, New York. Scheduled 10-round heavyweight fight between Mike Tyson and Jesse Ferguson. Tyson in the black trucks, Ferguson in the red. And coming into this round, Tyson has won all three previous rounds with almost dead certainty. All right, great. If there is such a thing as dead certainty in the scoring of a boxing match. And you're here to tell us there isn't, I'm sure. Referee Luis Rivera becoming considerably more active now in this fourth round than he was particularly in the first two rounds of the fight. This was the least active round of the fight. We'll be back from Troy, New York, after this message from your local stations. We begin round five. You were with us at the end of round four. You saw that immediately following the bell, Mike Tyson delivered a right-hand shot to the body of Jesse Ferguson. Ferguson was quite angry about it. Some of you may have seen Ferguson's cornerman jumping into the ring to keep him away from unnecessary extracurricular activity. Whatever the reason, Ferguson has come out more aggressively in round five than at any previous time in the fight. Beginning to throw that left. Mike Tyson has not thrown a punch in this round thus far. Ferguson's done all the punching, not much scoring, but he has kept Tyson at bay. As soon as Tyson moves in, he doesn't come in firing. He just stepped in and put his head on Ferguson's shoulder, and Ferguson accepted the clinch until Louis Rivera broke them. Three weeks ago, Tyson scored a TKO over a fighter named Mike Jamison at 46 seconds of the fifth round in Atlantic City. As of right now, Jesse Ferguson has lasted longer in the ring with the professional Mike Tyson than any of his 17 previous pro opponents. So Ferguson has at least that distinction to carry with him as he attempts to gain confidence as the bout goes on. It's difficult to judge the motivation of a fighter, but I would say that Mike Tyson is trying to do two things here. One, he's trying to pace himself. I think he has some questions about his stamina, and he's trying to get some questions answered here as well. And the second thing he's trying to do is be careful. Not to get in the way of one of Jesse Ferguson's left hooks. 
I think he respects respects Ferguson. And he's just not going to come in firing, leaving himself open as he was able to do against lesser opponents. Ferguson in his 10 round loss to Carl the Truth Williams, a TKO defeat, out of the city, was in trouble in both the first and 10th rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson. The right uppercut of Tyson has put him down. Six, seven, eight. Up at nine is Jesse Ferguson. I think that uppercut broke Ferguson's nose, Jim. He is in desperate trouble. He will not last much longer. Rivera almost stopped it there. Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Ferguson gamely hanging in, having trouble covering up. Four seconds, three seconds. and punching from very close quarters. The, the obvious punch right here is the uppercut. He turns around, digs right to the body, and then comes straight up with the right uppercut. Tyson has a tendency to turn left-handed. He turned left-handed to, la to land that combination and dropped Ferguson, and, and I think really just accelerated the pace of the fight, turned the tide, and I, I don't see how Ferguson can fight much longer in that condition. Obviously, the length of time that Mike Tyson went did not tire him out. He was still crisp with his punches, picked his shot, found his opening, came straight up the middle, and landed a devastating right hand. Beginning of round six, first time as a professional Tyson's ever been in this round. Ferguson trying to jab. Every great champion has to know how to finish an opponent when he has him hurt. Jesse Ferguson is hurt. Let's see how Mike Tyson does to take him out. The left hook did some damage. Jesse Ferguson not taking the break, holding on to Tyson's left hand. He's just going to hold until Rivera has to absolutely pry them apart. It's not going to be enough for Rivera to say break. He's going to have to get in there and force him apart. Delivered in close quarters. See, Ferguson just is not listening to Rivera at all. He's just going to continue to hold until he's, he just physically forces him out. Can't say I blame him. The only thing Rivera can do is what he just did. Give him a warning. And take points away if he continues to do it. Tyson's making a mistake by letting himself get this close to Ferguson. He must maintain a little bit of distance so that Fer he's going he's to take a point. He's disqualifying him. He disqualified Jesse Ferguson for flinching and refusing to break when ordered. He had warned him earlier in this round. Jesse Ferguson refused to break. The referee, Louis Rivera, disqualified him. And ironically, that breaks Mike Tyson's KO string that will go down in the books as a win disqualification. It will not be his 18th straight knockout. One of the dubious distinctions of the year. Jesse Ferguson becomes the first of Mike Tyson's 18 professional opponents not to suffer a knockout. And he did it by almost forcing the referee, Luis Rivera, to disqualify him. One minute and 19 seconds of the sixth round. And Mike Tyson's string goes to 18 and 0. And you saw the explosive punching power, which has made him the talk of the heavyweight division. Let's bring in uh, Mike Tyson right, right now at this moment. 
And you can see there the young man who has succeeded once again. Mike, you had to go as far as the sixth round, farther than you have been before as a professional. Were there some moments of frustration during the fight for you? Because, you know, I never get frustrated because I know we have a 10-round limit. And the, cr the crop of heavyweight nowadays having a little difficulty going the full 10 rounds. And the way they, they have it planned in their mind to beat me is to jab, hot shop, and grab me. But it's 10 rounds, and eventually I'm going to catch them. Did you approach this fight with a little bit more respect for Ferguson physically, the left hook, than you might have brought into your previous bouts? Not at all. I was just a little leery because of the lack of experience. But I was surely com comfortable when the fight was over. When I came out the ring, I was going to be the winner. Okay, Alex, we saw once again a sensational performance by Mike Tyson. Breaking Jesse Ferguson's nose, what do you have to ask the young man? Well, I'm just impressed, Michael, that you don't appear winded at all, that you appear to keep your poise, you paced yourself, and you showed that uh, those critics who say, A, that you may have chin problems, and B, you may have stamina problems, uh, you answered those critics to an extent today against a quality opponent. Well, um, only thing, I can't change any opinion. I just have to continue fighting and have to change their opinions on themselves. After seeing this performance, perhaps they still have doubts. But eventually, as I go successfully defeating all the contenders and perhaps the champion in the nearby future, then I will have to quiet all doubt. But then still, we have a little doubt as then. More of the Mike Tyson engine of destruction rolling on. Next up, another frightening assault as journeyman Steve Zosky becomes 